Oh, and if I speak funny, I'm from Australia, so just um, bear with me. Um, and I'm actually from Corinth, and I headed up the Corinth Cares um, group that actually stopped XTO from drilling um, the second well in Corinth. Um, that applause is also for these three up here, because if it wasn't for them three, I wouldn't have stopped them, I can guarantee you that. Um, I guess my question is, I moved here from Australia thinking that um, this was a great move. I'm kind of regretting it. You might laugh, but I swear there's a haze over North Texas that doesn't go away. And if the EPA can get funding from NASA, I'd really like for them to take a picture over North Texas. And not just in the morning when the VOCs start dissipating by the sun, but at night time. Because we're all asleep when a lot of these VOCs are being let out. And then we wake up with these problems. And the fact that my three-year-old's asleep and my five-year-old, seven-year-old's asleep, <coughs> breathing this in, as much as I can't excuse it for myself, I as a parent realise that I haven't put my children in the right environment. And as much as I try to feed them organic stuff and put them in a great school, I've realised that I'm failing them as far as environment's concerned. When I lay down at night and I think, what environment have I provided for my kids? I realise that I'm failing. So what are my options? My options are to just hang around and become part of a statistic, because that's what it seems like. That in two years' time, in 2012, the TCQ or the EPA will have had their study done, and yep, we'll all just be part of a statistic. Great. So what then? We've all already suffered the nosebleeds. We've all already got stuff in our blood, in our organs. Adults have been tested. Do we need to start drawing blood as part of an elementary school admission to figure out if our children have it before they go to school? Because by gosh, this state requires you to have vaccines. These five part per billion standards that have been set, when were they set? Per billion. It's Sorry. not a standard, it's just a, it's a threshold in which we're saying that the, 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 the cancer must be evacuated, that we take that cancer sample. It's, it's not a standard, it's just a, we're deriving the policy in order to say that, that when you must take that cancer, it's not, it's not set to say when you can, it's when you must. It's just a policy. Okay, but people are reacting at levels lower to that, and so are women, and so are children, and so are men. Again, so, are you, you going to tell me that a canister can only come out no, after these people have been diagnosed with major issues rather than just nosebleeds? That's, no, that's not what I'm saying. The other thing is to the TCQ, you yourself stated that the TCQ hearing dish noticed that there was an issue, but because you couldn't narrow it down, the issue persists. So with us being rats, then we're still being affected, and we'll just wait till you figure out, and you narrow it down, but let the rats just keep running around. I, I, no, I don't think I said that. I, I mean, there, is, there are issues with citing violations, but I think that we've done things... Someone brought up uh, uh, in another meeting that I was in that we made recommendations to facilities. We do that all the time. When we're, when we're in a situation where we can't confirm a violation, when we have information that shows that there's a probability that one exists, we do talk to companies about things that they can do to minimize their impact on that, that, that condition. And so through that effort, we sometimes get things done. Uh, we, we, we monitor equipment doesn't reduce emissions. It doesn't do anything to fix them. But we've installed monitoring equipment here to ensure that we are aware of what the ups and downs are, of what's going on out here. We've seen uh, that the air quality is, if I, if I can say, not as bad as we, we thought it might be. Uh, but, but we're not just sitting on our hands. 
happens with it when we go out and look for these violations. If, in fact, we don't confirm them, we're still doing things to get uh, some of those issues addressed. Well, I guess my question is, if we know there are issues, just as issues started rising with asbestos, why don't we just stop? Instead of saying, I think the saying here is, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. It's broken. So why aren't we fixing it? I think that, with the, I mean, that's, that's, that's a part of what this is. That's a part of what our rewrite of our rules But is the rats are still running around. And, I, and you're right, that in this, in this process, I, I wish it could happen overnight, but our goal right now is that whatever the pace is, we're going to keep moving towards getting that done. We could wait until technology does catch up. Technology's here. They just won't, they're not being asked, they're not using it. I know technology's here. <laughs> Technology is here, and you guys know it. And I come from a city that did stop XTO. But the issue we, I'm now dealing with is my count, council members are not aware of vapor recovery missions. And Highbond will not come out to our city to, in, to inform us of what these vapor recovery missions and how it is that we can prevent these emissions. So now you have city councils all over the Barnett Shell trying to figure out, well, how far is the distance? I speak to Flower Mound. Well, we're trying to get 17,000 feet. I speak to um, people in Louisville, and they're trying to get... Sorry, 1,700 feet. I speak to people in Louisville, and they're trying to get 1,000 feet. We're trying to get 1,200 feet. Where's the EPA? Why do city councils members who have really no clue... <laughs> on the effects, I don't refer to you, Mayor Tillman, but some city council members have no clue on the extensive effects of these gas wells, yet they have been asked to determine the setbacks. That is not their job. This is the EPA's job. You are the voice of residents. We need you to be a voice and to get a microphone and speak up for us. Yes. Absolutely.